In this video, we're going to look at the very tight stop scalping strategy. Stay tuned. Hey traders, not one for investors, one for short term traders only guys. We are talking scalping, we're talking ultra aggressive, and most importantly, what we're talking about is using a tight stop. Now I know most people are saying, hey, you can't use a tight stop, using a tight stop, you get a death, you get a death by a thousand cuts, that kind of thing. And I've said it before myself, if you're subscribed to the channel, you're going to know I stood in front of my whiteboard. We've talked about this and I've said, hey, listen, you don't use such a tight stop. I've always had a caveat and said, though, there are certain conditions where you can get away with using a tight stop. I'm going to talk about those now. The problem that I think that most people or mistake that most people make, and I say I've been there myself, I've done it, is try to use a tight stop too often. There are only certain few parameters and setups and variables where they're all lining up that you can say, you know what, I can use a six tick, seven tick stop, that kind of tightness of stop, and look for you know a good move and keep it tight, ramp the position size up and trade it accordingly. Unfortunately, as traders, we all try and want to get you know the most bang for our bucks. We want to use a tight stop, we want to leverage up the position size, and we use it in the wrong environment. And so we end up getting caught out and get stop, 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 stopped. Before you know it, you've taken four or five stops in a row your size has been quite high because you've had quite a tight stop and you're in trouble this setup is one where you can take with a tight stop but it only occurs occasionally and you've got to be on the ball you've got to be ready you've got to be waiting for it so one for day traders one minute chart we want the time frame as low as we can okay we could go low and more than one minute if we wanted to but one minute gives us a reasonable idea of what's going on so the theory behind this trade is momentum trade you're taking it you're going in, you're coming out. That's it. It's aggressive. It's very, very um, quick. And you've got a very tight stop with it because you cannot, cannot think about being poorly disciplined with this. If it doesn't go your way, you've got to cut it because it can get nasty very, very quickly. But it, if it works, then it works very, very nicely. You can get a good run of multiple amount of winners in a row. So let's get down to the nitty gritty, guys. So basically, the idea of this is we're jumping on momentum. We're identifying some sort of continued momentum. Now that's going to be different for the market you're trading. But I've got uh, I'm going to bring up a DAX example and a Dow example. So if you're spread betting, perfect for your spread betting. CFD, perfect. If you're trading futures directly on the exchange, again, perfect. You can do this on stocks. You can do this on commodities. Works beautifully on crude oil. Beautifully on gold when gold's kicking off. Silver as well. Very nice on silver. Um, currencies when they are very very active the only thing with currencies is because they're being so thick and they're so liquid you sometimes don't get the kind of shifts in volatility that you do with some of the individual stocks and specifically the dax and occasionally the dow dax is the, the sweet spot and, and crude oil quite often as well you don't get that kind of shift in volatility you get uh you do get it but not as often so let's talk about the examples anyway so dax here we go looking for continued move in one direction this example here we've got a one minute chart dax and we're driving lower three big candles aggressively lower holding at lows now that is phase one of the strategy okay the aggressive move in one direction there's many 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 more times the prior candles so you can see um you know when we're trying to quantify magnitude of move people say oh it's got to be x amount of ticks or x percent no it's just relative to what's happened previous because markets go in rhythms sometimes they've got big ranges sometimes they've got small ranges you've got to look at it relative to what's been happening recently because that's what the algos are going to be looking at that's what other people are going to be looking at and that's what people anchor their kind of baseline from and why we should as well as traders so if you look at the prior trade we're oscillating around in kind of 10 15 tick ranges in a one minute chart pretty quiet not much going on all of a sudden out of nowhere we have three in three minutes we have a decent kind of 25 tick move right so three decent candles that take us from um well let's call it 12 7 10 up to 12 7 35 so 25 tick move so it's pretty decent actually these candles aren't 10 ticks at all they're they're kind of five ticks or so so many multiple times and yes this isn't hundreds and hundreds of ticks move but the point is you can still do it with that but those candles are gonna have to be in order of magnitude relative to that so anyway decent move we've started getting aggressive now the most important part of this is phase two phase two is when we sit 
and we just consolidate for a few minutes near the extreme of the move. So whether it is the low, whether it is the high, it doesn't matter so much. It's just where it's consolidating. Okay, it drives lower, it's holding, it's holding, it's holding, it tries to push back up, two or three minutes of push back up, starts to roll over, almost goes at that point. Let's zoom in a little bit more on this so we can really drill down into it. Almost goes at that point and then it goes. So what's the trigger for the entry? The trigger for the entry is a break below that low. Okay, very, very quick, very, very aggressive. Yes, you're probably going to get a bit of slippage, but if you're on the ball, you can have yourself set up with a stop limit getting in. You'll still probably get some slippage, but you're gonna get in and you're gonna get in quick rather than waiting for it to go and being late. Because if you're 30 seconds late on this, forget it, forget it, you wanna be out. So we've got to see, just to recap slightly, because I want to reiterate that, we don't want to encroach too much into this. This here is needs to be very, very, well, not very, very deep, but deep enough that this, when this encroaches, it only encroaches very slightly into it. That's perfect. We're not even kind of in the first candle here. We're not even taking out the first candle. We're sort of 50%, 60% of the range of the, oh, sorry, the third candle in the move. That's fine. You know, and we sit there for three minutes, four minutes. Any more than that, again, we want to be a little bit nervous of it. This is momentum, guys. It's aggression. Move one direction, pause, hold, 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 bang, next leg. We want to be there for the next leg. That's the name of the game in this trade. It's there, ready for the next leg. So we've got to be there identifying it, got to be ready for it, bang. We're short as it breaks through this low here. And our stop is going to be above the last swing high. Not going to be above this swing high, too high. This is tight as anything. It's going to be... Really, to be honest with you guys, it's not even going to be here. You, that's probably, that's your emergency stop, right? That's one you'd put into the market. But in reality, if it comes back up, even just slightly, you're out of it. This is the point of it. It's in extra aggressive, very, very aggressively in shorting it hard as it's pushing through the lows. And if it doesn't go and it just starts to mess around, you're out of it and then you leave it. The trap that people fall into is they keep trying to take it, keep trying to take it, keep trying, 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 and then it just ends up being a losing proposition. It's momentum play. If the momentum is not there initially, forget it, leave it, wait for the next setup. The momentum should be there. The whole point of this is you're risking a very small amount. You're jumping on the momentum. You don't even want it to retrace slightly. It should break through that low. It should continue to push through that low. Now, what you do now for your exit is you scale out into the position. Obviously, if you're trading one contract, you've got to kind of find a decent place to get out of it. But what you want to do is wait for a stall. Wait until the market has stalled. Wait until you see that kind of just stagnation. Or you scroll back and you look for a key level. This example here, we have a nice low to work off. There is our low of the day. And so as soon as we break through that low of the day, you are buying into that lows because everybody, as we know, the textbook guys have all got their stops underneath this low here. They're all waiting to sell under that low there. That's their sell stops because they're long and that's where they want to come out. That's what the textbook tells you, right? But as aggressive scalping shorters, we're already in for this trade. It's driving lower. We are scaling out of the position into that low. This is not a hero trade, guys. This is not something that we're holding for multiple hours, multiple days, multiple weeks. Of course, if you want to refine it and say, I'm going to hold a little chunk for that, by all means. But the theory of this is it's quick in, quick out. Identify momentum, jump on it, jump out when we identify the momentum, maybe I'll be waning. Generally speaking, as we start to go through lows, especially with DAX or through highs, we may well get a continued flush. This isn't a very volatile day, this one, but it's still a decent setup and it's still enough juice in, in the trade here. But when we get a flush through, you just see that bang, 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 all the way through on the DAX. You're scaling out your position into that. You're never going to get a perfect exit. You're always going to give some back. But the point is you're getting out when the momentum is on your side. So one that crescendo, extreme momentum, you're in the momentum slowing. You're in just as it's increasing, as it breaks that low, you're riding it, riding it, riding it. Then when it starts to kind of flurry at the finish and if it's breaking through a key level, that's when you're coming out of the trade. And again, if you haven't got that key level, then come out as momentum dies. It's purely that play. Don't be tempted to try and do anything sneaky with it or, or kind of hold it longer or widen the stop. And again, just reiterating this, guys, but it's so, so important. If it comes down and comes back up, bang, get out of it. Scratch it out, scratch it out for a couple of tick loss. This is super aggressive. This is based on the momentum continuing. Yes, there may well be. And some of you are saying, hey, but it might well roll over then. I agree. I agree fully. And I've seen that so many times. It comes back and then it rolls over it comes back it kisses it but 
honestly the 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 downside of 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 holding that is way 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 not worth doing not worth doing that you know what that, that makes a lot of sense but it's not worth holding that because you could get there multiple times you, you end up holding it it comes back and you kind of move in the stop and you're in a size you don't want to be in you've got to really just strip out everything else and say momentum only if i don't get momentum i'm done and if you time it right it rewards you nicely let's have a look at the dax here guys there's one for the uh for the um a downside as well so we have a drive lower right this is a little bit different because it's it's an accelerated drive in terms of how many red candles we get before we get a slight green retrace so this one we get quite a big move before we get a green retracement and if we're scaling back we're saying well actually you know it's, it's pausing at the low i'm starting to rub my hands here even just looking at this kind of thing because i like it because i know that if we break through lows break through highs that's momentum i need as a scalper to scalp into to scale out of so we get the little pause bang 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 look at the magnitude of the of the encroach back into the uh, the drive level yes we have come from down here but for me this is where the momentum picks up you see how the angle changes in it we've got this kind of uh, this angle here but then it starts to pick up and really pick up steam that's what i'm interested in that's where i'm saying okay boys are getting aggressive now i like it boys and girls are getting aggressive now i like it we push down we don't encroach up at all what's that that's not even 20 percent. just sit in there and then we know the score guys we're going short into the low here now slight difference is that our low is pretty close and you're saying well don't we scale out as we come into it yes we kind of do but we've got to give it a little bit of chance because we're so close to the low we're so close that we're like ah you know what this is this, this is a, i need to i need to give it a little bit more okay i need to really get the momentum going on it um this one you're okay to have your stop above the high last one was too high this one is fine because you've got um you know not a not a big stop relatively speaking compared to what you're going to get out of it you know this may seem like a big stop you're saying well it's, you know hang on a second my it's like 40 uh to 15 ticks but yeah look at the look at the range we're doing we just come from uh 24 280 all the way down to 24 140 in half an hour so it's all relative whilst that dax was kind of a five tick stop and a 15 20 30 tick or 15 20 tick target if i remember rightly this one's a little bit different this is a 15 tick stop and you, you know we're, we're moving in kind of we're looking for 50 ticks out of this and you know, that's the scalp in this conditions which is why it's good we've got examples for two different conditions here so again momentum selling it's going low it's going this is a little bit of a funny candle you know i don't i don't doubt this this is something that would probably have me on the edge ready to get out of it thinking oh you know i need to be cautious i need to be cautious fortunately it then rolls over gives you that added momentum driving lower now for me i think that this would have had me out this kind of congestion this messing around here um it's not quite the low but it's run out of steam hasn't it we've had a good drive i'm cautious as well we've come from a high pure momentum play this you know if we've hit it aggressively here we've seen this it's rolled over again you know i'm probably thinking now uh you know you know i need to come out around here because we've got a bit of indecision uh, it's kind of pausing a little bit it's come a long way that would be my exit and if you were holding it for kind of, kind of strict rule you would definitely be coming out when you saw these kind of green candles uh, regardless even if you were disappointed the fact that you hadn't come out of there and that's good it's also this is kind of thing that's going to play on your emotions guys because as it rolls over you might say oh, yeah 20 30 40 50 ticks all of a sudden it springs back on you you're giving back half because it's so quick you've still got to be quick to pull the trigger you can't be kind of thinking i'm going to hold this longer term it's like the first phase of momentum only in out done move on all right guys that's the very short term a very short or very narrow stop scalping trade pure momentum play great if you can be there you've got to be in front of the screen for you've got to be kind of a day trade a focus day trade if this one a very powerful when you get on the end of it when the market conditions are right very powerful make sure you're jumping on the right kind of thing and if you are uh keep the risk managed that's just so so important with this trade okay guys See you next one. Take care. Bye-bye.